welcome back to the vlogs. Today is extra special because we, it, it, we, wow! An extra special vlog because we are leaving for a three day vacation to the island. Ooh. Woo! It is currently 5.40 a.m. Oh. It is 5.40 a.m. It feels like it's like 5.40 p.m. Cause like, it's so bright out. Um, but nope, it's the morning. And we're right now headed to Tawasin, which is a ferry terminal. We're getting on the nice and early 7 a.m. ferry and we have a full, so that we can have full three days in Victoria. So we're actually not staying in Victoria, we're staying in this little village called Souk, um, which is about 40 minutes from Victoria and it's a little bit more naturey, more quiet, less city-like. So that's our little trip and where we're going. In terms of like what we have planned, we're really just gonna take it by ear. We're gonna um, see how the day goes. We do have some major things planned out for each day and know where we're gonna be going. But in terms of the nitty gritty details, we just kind of, we like spontaneity. So we're just gonna leave that for the day. And also it's a bit colder over at Souk than it is here in Vancouver. It's going to be a little bit more chilly, but we kind of need that because it's been hot. Honestly, I woke up at 5, 4.45 to get ready. We're running every yellow light. And we slept around like 11.30, so not too late, but I'm pretty high energy for 5.30. What do you think? He's a little sleepy. Yeah, I'm not just a little sleepy. Yeah, he's very sleepy. Very sleepy. I'm so excited. We're trying to find a Wendy's to stop by and get something. I'm actually really hungry for like it being so early. I don't know, I just get really hungry in the morning if I wake up super early. So I wanna eat some Wendy's because that's kind of like a little thing. Uh, if you saw our Whistler vlog that we filmed last year, uh, we went to Wendy's before our trip, our drive to Whistler. Oh, my arm hurts, I'm like holding my elbow. <laughs> um, we went to Wendy's and it was so good. So hopefully you can find one somewhere. Some chili cheese fries would sound really good. And some chicken, some spicy chicken burger also sounds good. For snacks, <laughs> we have some more snacks in the back. Um, we have some chips and jelly in the back, but right now we have some jello that we got at Price Mart. Have you tried this stuff? This is so good. Wow. What I was saying was, we got these little jello packets and they're so good. Like we have um, this assorted fruit one and we got one just that has lychee. So we're gonna take a jello shot to start off this trip because that just you know, sounds right. Which one do you want? Green apple, please. Okay, green apple. Cheers, boo-boo. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's sunnier than most days. You'll never see the sky if you keep looking down. We are in line for the ferry. He's forcing me to go into the market here and check out what's inside because you know everyone's going in, so we gotta follow what everyone does. Got my mask. Got my cute outfit. Check. Everyone's going inside. Tawasan Key Market. I'm inside the store now. Everything is closed. Well, that was largely unsuccessful. There's nothing open, so I'm gonna head back to the car. There's a Starbucks, but honestly, I'd rather just save my appetite for a better meal. So let's go back to the the car. Here. 
have questions from a long time ago that I never answered, so maybe I'll answer some of them. First question, how old am I? How old am I? 24. I am 22, turning 23 in November. In routine, to be honest, there's really not much to it. I will maybe sh I'll show you guys my like nighttime and my morning skincare routine as I'm here, and then maybe I'll show you like a light makeup routine. But really, it's just I use some Kiel products, the Ordinary. Um, oh, the Inky List. The, the, the flower one. The Inky List. Um, what's my job? So I have I'm work like kind of I guess three different jobs right now. I my main one is uh, my own personal business, which is my online coaching slash personal training business, and then I also work in an exercise clinic, as well as I work as a like a workout trainer, I guess, which. Yeah, we won't get into that one. Am I religious? Yes. Well, I'm not as much anymore because I'm like kind of older, but I, I guess I do fall under, I'm Catholic. Um, can you lose belly fat without managing diet? Well, that's a good question. And I know that's like, you know, the big answer. I would say the answer is no, it's a lot. It's quite hard to, you know, reach your fitness goals, whether that may be lose weight, gain weight, whatever, without managing your diet and looking at what you're eating, mainly because 70 to 80% of you reaching your goals has to do with what you're putting into your body. So no matter how hard you're working out, if you are not staying consistent with your eating and making sure you're putting good foods into your body, it will be quite hard. Do you like to eat vegetables? Love vegetables. I actually don't eat vegetables. Yeah, fun fact. What are my plans after graduation? I guess it's really just to keep working, um, keep growing my business, my personal business, and then eventually I will get either a master's or a certification in exercise physiology. What do you use to track your workouts? An app, notebook, Excel sheets, etc. So I don't actually track my workouts. I used to just write it down on my notes in my phone. Um, I don't really write a workout program for myself either. I've just found that to be too strict and I get bored of it quite quickly, but I would say the most popular is using Excel sheet or a notebook. What are the best exercises for losing thigh fat for pear-shaped women? Really, the one of the biggest myths in the fitness industry is that you can spot reduce, which means that you can pick and choose where you lose fat, which is a complete false statement you cannot pick so you just doing a thousand squats does not mean you're going to lose fat first from your thighs you need to work towards just lowering your overall body fat percentage and then where you lose fat first will depend on your genetics really similar to when you let's say like gain weight where you gain weight first is also dependent on your genetics as well another how old are you and how long have you been doing sports so i'm 22 again i don't really do sports <laughs> Uh, unless you count working out as a sport, I've been working out for about four, five, six, four or five years now, like pretty much all throughout my undergrad, um, which has been four or five years. I did cheerleading all throughout high school, so I was always quite active, but I don't play a specific sport. Oh, yeah, I guess I play volleyball and tennis. That's true, I played tennis in high school, but I'm like not at a competitive level for either of it. I, I'm good enough to play recreationally. Do you take protein? If so, what kind? I do take protein. Um, the one that I currently have is this really sweet coffee wafer. Oh, it's so bright. This really sweet coffee wafer. I don't really like it. I like his, which is Iso Gold or Iso Way. It's Iso Gold. I'll put a picture of it right on his face. <laughs> um, but this one tastes so good. It's a bit on the pricier side in terms of protein, but it literally tastes um, just like chocolate milk. So that's the one I've been loving so far. Have you always been into working out or just being active in general? So I've always been active. Like I did rhythm and gymnastics when I was like quite young. I quit that, then I went into cheerleading for all of high school. And then once I stopped that, I went into working out consistently. So I've been always active. Now I just focus on working out. And just since the summer, I play a lot of outdoor sports like volleyball, tennis, um, hiking, all of that. Yeah, so those are most of the questions. If you guys have any other questions, I would say leave them in the comments, DM me, I will try my best to answer them. That was fun. That was fun. Okay, see you guys when we land. We're gonna try to close our eyes for a little bit. Hello, an Hello. update. We are off the ferry and we are here at Bouch Bouchant, Bouchot Gardens Bouchot. in 
on the way to Victoria. It's a really nice garden. It's quite popular. It was $38 per person for admission, mm -hmm. but it's a quite large of a garden and we are just walking through. Those We're gonna go through each one. So we start here. We'll go through up this way to the Japanese garden. Go on a boat tour, come back. <laughs> Firework <laughs> viewing area. A rose carousel. We'll definitely be riding that one. Sounds like a plan to me. She likes chocolate covered strawberries and wine. She likes notes that say I love you all the time. Roses at your feet, baby girl be mine. Baby girl be mine. Yeah. Hey. Look. Pick up your phone, I need your attention. My girl so bad, we call her detention. I am so glad we moved beyond friendship. I am so glad your mama like me. Sweat up with Cupid, told him fight me. I stole your love, he shot my heart. I'm losing breath, it's getting dark. We're out of the Rose Garden and it's 11.30 and we're both kind of struggling now. I think the tiredness is hitting us. Um, but we're headed in, we're actually in Victoria now, right? Mm -hmm. So we are in Victoria. You can tell it's a lot more, a lot more civilization, a lot more cars on the road. We're headed to pick up some food for lunch, I would say. Um, and then from there, we're gonna head to the Airbnb if we can make it by two, because that's our check in time. See the Thunder Burger. Wow. wow. That's good. It's thick. Holy, look how big this piece of chicken is. This is massive. <laughs> look at my hand. Look at this. <laughs> good. Mmm, it's a good fried chicken. Bowl. Wow, authentic Italian pasta. Who the sauce? Ooh. Ooh. How is it? Really? Really hot. It's much later. It is 7 p.m. We took a fat nap. Did we not? We did. We came to the Airbnb, which uh, is super cute. I'll show you a little bit um, of what it looks like. It's quite small, but it's like in this little forest area. Um, very secluded, so we feel like we are in like a little cabin. But I will show you that. But we just pretty much came home, unpacked a little bit, put our groceries away, and then just slept. Like we were so sleepy. So now we're up because I'm hungry. And we're cooking up some steak. Four or five at a survived day one uh, we had a slow morning it's almost actually afternoon we are headed out for the day we are going to the soup potholes today but it's honestly quite cold you can tell here can you see it's not sunny today I'm actually really excited for the potholes I feel like honestly once we get in the water it's gonna feel the same it's just once we like, get out it'll be cold 
Right, we came here for the potholes, so I feel like yeah. like we'll still have to suck it up and just dip our toes in and get a little wet. Guys, do you see that? It is getting sunny. Oh no, it's kind of clear skies, clearing up. It's still cloudy here, but over here, it's blue skies. We are at the potholes now. Pothole parking hole number, parking lot number three. We are walking down to where the potholes are. I don't know, do you think it's this way? I think we're on the right track to going down to the potholes. Pay for parking, we have our noodle. We have our speedo goggles. <laughs> Swimsuit check. Swimsuit check. And we're trying to find the entrance to the little potholes. found our swimming pothole area. Let's show them. Right here. And we're gonna try to swim upwards because I think that's what people do is they just park their here and then they just swim up. Good thing we have our noodle and speedos. I feel like it's not very deep. Yeah, I don't think so. Um, we'll switch over to the GoPro. Say bye. So pretty much what is going on is we went back to the Airbnb, we washed up, showered, and there's this hike called Old Mount Baldy. And it said it's only 10 minutes away, but it turns out it was actually like 20 something minutes away. And this hike is only 2.4 kilometers, but it's steep as f I don't know if you can see that um and it takes you up to like this really pretty viewpoint with the with the swing wow it's already pretty We did it! Here's a cute little swing. <laughs> and here is the view. Today is Sunday. Um, I guess that's five days ago. And we were just driving by to go to our hike yesterday and we saw it and we thought we would maybe go check it out today since we have the time. So I'm excited to do that today and then we're probably gonna go to Victoria again and then spend the last few hours just walking around downtown getting food there and then we um, our ferry to go back to Vancouver is at 6 p.m. So it's not until the evening. So we do have a full, pretty much a good full day here. Um, and there's not much to do in Victoria. So I think we'll be like perfect on time. for the slide. You see it? it spirals all around. We are back 
in Vancouver. I don't think we filmed anything past um, after the skywalk, but we pretty much just went to Victoria, grabbed some food. I'll insert some footage if I have anything. Um, we also got this really yummy ice cream spot, but it was a bit too much for us, but I highly recommend that spot if you guys are looking for a good dessert, dessert in downtown Victoria. I'm sure there's going to be a lot more travel content and hoping the next one we film together will be somewhere on an airplane, <laughs> flying somewhere. But until then, if you guys like this video, make sure you give this a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe for more fitness, travel, vlog content from me and from him. And until next time, have a great rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Love you guys. Bye bye!